This morning as we begin in 1 Peter, we're going to be delving into the deep mysteries of the eternal plan of God as it concerns his people. We're going to rush right in where angels dare to tread. 1 Peter 1, 1 and 2. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who reside as aliens, scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who are chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, by the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to obey Jesus Christ and be sprinkled with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in fullest measure. First, when Peter addresses his letter to exiles or aliens, he's not necessarily thinking of literal refugees scattered in these various places. I think he's more speaking to all Christians whose citizenship is in heaven, who are just passing through this life, which is like foreign territory as we await our real heavenly home. You who have received Jesus as your savior and you're following him as your Lord, you exiles in this world, here is what God has done for you in terms of your salvation. The last word of verse one says that you are chosen or elect. Wow. Ephesians 1, 4 says, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before him. Before the foundation of the world, whether you are a young earther or an old earther, it was a long time ago, God chose you to be his long ago, before the foundation of the world. You are chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. Now let's don't let that word foreknowledge trip us up. It sounds like God is looking into the future and seeing in the future that you would choose him so then he chose you. That's not what the word means. That's not biblical. The word doesn't really have to do with seeing into the future. It has more to do with relationship. God knew you and God loved you even before you were born, before the foundation of the world. You didn't choose me, said Jesus, but I chose you. We love because he first loved us. Look at verse 20. For he, Jesus, was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but has appeared in these last times for the sake of you. There's that same word, foreknowledge. And it's not that God the Father looked into the future and saw Jesus. That's absurd. Again, the word has to do with relationship. The triune God is in perfect harmony in relationship with himself in terms of your salvation. Let's go back to verse two. According to the foreknowledge of God the Father, by the sanctifying work of the Spirit, to obey Jesus Christ. You see, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit working for your salvation. It's an amazing thought. Sprinkled with his blood. Yes, he chose you before time existed. And in a moment of time, in a point in time, he came and he died for you and sprinkled you with his blood. May grace and peace be yours in fullest measure. This is grace. A grace that gives peace Peace within yourself, peace with God, and peace with his people. There's a lot to think about today, and more grace to come tomorrow. God bless.